Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here at this property that I have permission to deer hunt and we're working on food plots, I have just installed the black boar disc harrow attachment and my camera just moved on me too. But like I said, I just installed the black boar disc harrow attachment. This is gonna be a quick video just showing you guys how it worked out for me. So. I'm going to turn the camera over here this way. So if you see that patch of dirt, I have already run six or seven passes through there with the black bore chisel plow to break up some of that hard dirt, pull up some of the thatch. I picked up a bunch of rocks and stuff. So really what we have here that I've already run through is a bunch of cloddy dirt that I've turned over, turned the grass over. And now I'm gonna run over all that with the disc harrow implement. I've got it hooked up to the motorized lift from Black Boar as well, but that's gonna be this video. I'm just gonna bring you guys with me, ripping up some dirt, breaking up some of the clods, tearing up the dirt, and getting it ready for some seeds for some food plots. Check this out. Let me uh, straighten up the camera here. And I've got the motorized lift on this side by side i'll show you the whole side by side here in a second but i'm just going to go up front press the switch and i'll leave the camera back here so you guys can see how that motorized lift works pop, 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 pop. Come on. going down i'm not going to do very aggressive i'm probably going to do just a bunch of real light passes here so i barely did any pressure after it hit the dirt let me uh aim my cameras just to give you a close-up here's the before of what i'm working with thick chunks not necessarily ideal for food plots hey eh? that is some hard dirt too but i'm just going to keep making passes over this stuff and make it a little more silky smooth and better for us to put the seeds down in have a good seed bed so i'll show you my side by side side by side i got this attached to this is a kawasaki mule pro fxt 1000 le camo model that's true timber strata pattern camo but you guys saw what i did i just put a little bit of pressure in the dirt there now we're going to get to ripping see what i'm doing here make make a couple passes and then when I get to where I like it, I'll come back and show you the aftermath. Putting her in low and four wheel drive here. Just gonna go smooth, not get in a hurry. We need to make some adjustments, raising it or lowering it as we go. We'll do that as we go. key is to not get in a hurry go smooth see if i can get you guys a little ride along here and not have my camera get destroyed i'm gonna take it take a little pass here and see if i can show you guys what i'm working with already done oh two or three passes and the dirt's already looking a lot smoother but just to show you, I've got it lowered a little bit more, so we're a little bit more aggressive than what we were, but we're still not too crazy deep into the dirt here. Just enough to where we're definitely grabbing in, but we're not going crazy down in the dirt like we're trying to break something. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can still see what I'm doing back there. Let me stop right here and show you this section. So, you can see right here how it's a little bit finer now. I'll grab a handful. So, we're at the start of the video. We were working with bigger clumps. Now you see how fine that is? So the chisel plow that I used before this broke up the dirt, 
pulled up a bunch of rocks. We're still cleaning up some rocks out of here, but you can see how big of a difference we're making and how much finer this is now. This is gonna be a lot better for when we go to get our seeds in the ground and plant our food plots. So let me uh, keep on trucking here for a minute and bring y'all with me. This thing's working out good. It's really working out good to make that dirt a lot finer and a lot better for my seeds to drop into for these food plots. And this is looking good. This section right here, yeah, baby. This is looking real good. Y'all ought to be able to be seeing what I'm seeing and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, baby. All right, guys, there you have it. Did my best to kind of show you how the thing works. Again, this is the black bore disc harrow implement. I've got it on my motorized implement lift there, but this right here, what you're seeing, this is five or six passes. Earlier in the day, I came through here with the chisel ply attachment, and then this is five or six passes with that disc harrow. So clumps are a lot smaller. Give me a handful over here with, you know, that's what we've got after five or six passes of that disc harrow. Now, I'll probably hit this once or twice more before I go put this baby on the trailer. But hey, things easy to install. If you missed my install video, definitely go check that out. If I can put this on, you can put it on. But got this hooked up to the Kawasaki Mule and it did just fine. Again, I think the key is don't try to go crazy. Skim the top, lower it a little skim the top again pick up some rocks if you have to i'd like to know who keeps throwing all these rocks out here <laughs> oh i'm just kidding but hey appreciate y'all watching let me know what you think about this thing down below i'll put a uh, a discount code for blackboard if you're interested in checking these out and getting a better deal on them but hey appreciate y'all watching we'll see you on the next one Hoo -hoo. and a lot better for my seeds to drop into for these food plots. And this is looking good. This section right here, yeah, baby. This is looking real good. Y'all ought to be able to be seeing what I'm seeing and I'm liking what I'm seeing. <laughs>